Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I know I've been away for a really long time, but I have an explanation, I promise you. But I won't get into it now. I just want to say I'm sorry um, that I was away for such a long time, but I'm back now. So, in this video today, I'm going to show you how I made my coconut fried rice. I had that on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and people asked, so I'm doing this video for you guys. I hope you stay tuned and see how I make this video. <laughs> I'm going to need for this coconut fried rice are some rice, some vegetable oil, some coconut milk and coconut powder and then I'll need some vegetables also I'm using green beans, some green pepper, I beg your pardon, red pepper, some carrots, some sweet corn, green pepper, green peas, um, garlic powder, some thyme, some curry, some stock cubes, some salt and some ground crayfish. The first thing that I do is I add my coconut milk to the pot. It's because I use only a little bit of coconut milk. I also use coconut powder. So this I'm going to dissolve with some water now and add. And this intensifies the coconut flavor in the dish. And I'll just add it here. So now I can add as much water as I need to cook the rice. And I know that the coconut flavor is still there. I'm going to add my stock cube. I'm going to use two in this one add some salt and add some crayfish I'll also add a very tiny bit of curry powder because I don't want it to affect the color of the rice there's a particular color I like for my coconut um, fried rice so I try not to let the curry overpower the color so i'll add some garlic powder also and some thyme and i'll just bring this to a boil it'll take another two to three minutes let it boil before i add the rice in the meantime i'm going to go and wash my rice and get it ready broth has been boiling now i'm going to add the rice and don't worry if you don't have enough liquid, you can always top it up. In fact, that's my preferred method of cooking rice so that my rice doesn't end up soggy. I add only a little water at a time so that I don't end up with soggy rice um, instead of adding it all at once. So I'll let this cook now. I'll transfer it to the other side um, because I'm going to do my vegetables here so that you can see what I'm doing. So in another pot, I'm going to start frying my vegetables. I'll add a little oil. So once this is hot, I'm going to add my carrots and my peas. Oh, and um, my green beans at the same time. So I have carrot, green peas and green beans cooking here. I'm going to cook this for about one and a half minutes first before I add all the other things. Once that starts cooking, I'm going to add one more stock cube and a little salt because I want the vegetable also to have um, some flavor. I'm going to add some more ground crayfish and some garlic powder. Continue to stir so it doesn't burn. And now it's time for my green pepper and my red pepper. I'll give this one minute and then this is almost ready so now I'll add my sweet corn so as you can see my vegetables are ready they're nicely seasoned and we'll just wait for the rice to finish cooking so I'll transfer this to the other side and bring my rice back I'll bring my rice back so you can see what I'm doing So I'm going to check on this rice now. I think it's dry. Yes, it is. So 
This is my system of cooking fried rice because I don't like it soggy. I cook my rice and then I add the vegetable. So, if you feel like your rice is too much, you can take some of the rice out before adding the vegetables. So this is my coconut fried rice. I'm going to cover it now for one minute so that all the flavors can marry together and all the spices and everything can come together. Just one minute. So that's how I make my delicious and very flavorful coconut fried rice. I hope you're going to try out this recipe. If you have any questions, leave me your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. And I'll see you in my next video.